Hello, my name is Raimundo Burgueño, and this is a quick tip on symmetry plane align. Let's say we want to model this roof surface, but instead of using one giant surface, we want to model just half of it. Um, that's fairly easy with alias as well. Let's use our square tool again. And now just using the default settings, let's see what type of result we get. If we shade it and add symmetry, we're going to see that there's a peak there. To eliminate that, let's go to object edit, align, symmetry, plane, align. And once we click on that surface, it's going to eliminate that peak and make it curvature across the middle. Even though this did solve our problem, the result isn't exactly what we wanted and there's better approaches to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that same tool that we use, but instead of on the surface, we're going to use it on the curve network. And this will make sure that that curve across the middle has curvature. Now we're going to use the square tool again, but we're going to start changing some of the options. Under continuity, look for the center line and change it to implied tangent. This makes it curvature down the middle. And to influence that last row of CVs, you could change the boundary blend to make it more suitable for your design. And this makes it very easy to, to get a good starting point and, um, and a clean surface that, that goes across the middle.